badly raced into a 12-0 lead as Tom Pro capitalized on a loose ball to grab their first try and following back-to-back -back penalties, Gavin Davis grabbed a second converted score. Badly piled on the pressure, pinning Nottingham back and they were rewarded when Jonathan Marsden crashed over from close range as the boys built up a 16-0 halftime advantage. The early stages of the second half saw an arm wrestle between the forwards but Badly eventually extended their lead when Josh Sredden crossed for their fourth try to effectively seal victory. Nottingham were playing only their second game at their new home, but, having been denied in their first match, they were rewarded with a first try late in the game. Batley were threatening the Outlaws line when a straight pass was scooped up by veteran halfback Paul Callant, who outpaced the boys' defense on a terrific 80 meters run to the line to grab a deserved consolation try. The boys face a tasty home game on Saturday when they welcome Bentley to Halifax Road with the visitors having won five of their six matches. A young Burstall Victoria side slipped to a third defeat in four matches in Division 3 as they went down 30-6 at home to York Locomotive, who were playing their first game of the season. The Vic are fifth out of the seven teams in the division but will target a second win of the campaign when they welcome Leeds Aukies to Whiteley on Saturday. Wyke picked up a second straight win and are the early Division 4 pace setters after recording a 32-16 success away to Sherburne Bears. Wyke entertained Dearn Valley Bulldogs on Saturday. Wyke Academy went down 36-10 at home to New Year's Wick All Blacks A in Division 5 last Saturday. Dewsbury Celtics A team returned to action this Saturday when they traveled to Kirk Burton Cougars in Division 5. Shaw Cross Sharks picked up a second win in Alliance League 2 last week as they defeated Stanningley Academy 24-18 last Saturday and they face a tasty derby away to Dewsbury Moray tomorrow, Friday, kickoff 7pm.